In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Good morning. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, you are of every good gift. Put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men, who knows what pertains to the man except his spirit that is within? Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them not with the words, taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit, describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now, the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God. For to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it, because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything but is not a subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him, but we have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is just in all his ways. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
a great prophet has risen in our midst and God has visited his people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching, because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, what, are, what have you do to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, and the words of God for your sins. <clears throat> it was customary in those days for a rabbi to go to the synagogue on the day of Sabbath and read a scripture passage and explain the passage to the congregation. Jesus as a rabbi went to the synagogue in Capernaum. People were amazed. They were spellbound with what they could, because Jesus spoke with authority. And they said, they had never heard anyone speaking like this. Jesus spoke with authority and even commanded an unclean spirit. And he came out right away, and the man was healed. The scribes and the Pharisees the spiritual leaders of Israel succeeded Moses as teachers. So they had the authority to teach their people. So how did they do it? They often quoted from other authorities like the prophets when they, when they taught their people so that their words will have some kind of weight, some kind of authority. When the prophets taught, or when they spoke, they spoke with delegated authority. They got their delegation from God himself. And that is the reason um, they wrote, when they spoke God's word, they begin this way, thus says the Lord. That means the word they are going to speak are not theirs, but they are the words of God himself. And that is the reason they say, thus says the Lord. When Jesus spoke, or, when, or even when he taught, he did not need any authority, because Jesus himself is the authority incarnate. He is the word of God, made the flesh. So he himself is God, therefore he did not need any authority from anyone. And that is the reason when Jesus commanded the demons, they came out right away. And people who were possessed with the evil spirits or demons were healed right away. Because Jesus is God and he himself is the authority. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before him, and we ask for his blessing. 
Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for all bishops, priests, and religious, that they may and lady, that they may always follow Jesus, listen to his teachings faithfully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland, and also in all those places torn by war and violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intentions of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for Harriet M. Farrell and Maxine Kipley. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and your goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, food and the and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink, Blessed be God forever. With Humble spirit and a contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, and me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and it just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. All we are sent everywhere to give you thanks, Father. Most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make you holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it 
to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis, our Pope, Blaise Serpit, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Harriet M. Farrell and Maxine Kipling, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is the words forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed to hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Amen.
Hear this mention of the Holy Ghost who revealed Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us, receive it, may the receiving of the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, bring me the judgment and the condemnation, but through your loving mercy, before me protection might be the body and the blood of the Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only so the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Now permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> the communion song. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children, children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For the years is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. <clears throat> Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you and have a wonderful day. For our processional, we will sing, Now thank be all of us, God. Song number 545. 545. Now thank be all our God. With hearts and hands and voices, who wondrous things has done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms has blessed.